Okay, YouTubers, welcome to the toy floor at Brooks Collectibles. Now, I was going to show you a video about me restoring some posters and framing them, but uh, what I did was I messed up the audio on it. So what I've decided to do is do a little tour of the model shop and kind of explain about Brooks Collectibles. Because we've got a lot of new subscribers to the channel and a lot of new people watching videos, some of you will have seen the museum tours, the shop tours before, and you always say to me, I skip over things too quickly. So I'm going to show you stuff in a little bit more detail. Now, the shop hasn't been open since November, and a lot of the new stuff doesn't come in until April or May. So what I'm going to do is show you everything that we've got now, and then what I'll do later on in the year is another tour of the shop so you can see all the cool stuff that we've got that's come in that wasn't here when this video was filmed. Does that make sense? Not really. To start with, Brooks Collectibles comprises of three main areas. One, the model shop. Two is the gift shop. And three is the toy museum which I highly recommend you come and visit if you're in Blackpool, but message me first to check that it's open to avoid disappointment. I'm out of breath from running up the stairs. I'm so out of shape. But the main bit I want to focus on today is the model shop, which is actually the side entrance to the rest of the shop. Now we opened here in this building in 1949. I know, I look well on it, I moisturize a lot. Da -dum we actually opened the model shop, which was dedicated just to Corgi at the time in I should know this, it was the year I got married, in 1989, that's wrong actually, in 1988, which is the year I got married. God, I can't believe I got that wrong. So the shop is a mix of modern die-cast, vintage collectibles, toys, all kinds of cool things, which is why I was gonna quickly show you around. Let's get that out of the way. So my first stop is the shop counter and the display behind me, which contains my full set of Star Wars figures from 1977 right up to 85 and includes the monsters. And what we're actually gonna do later on this year is move it back up into the museum as part of the museum display. And then I can put the Hornby train stuff that we're gonna be having come in in here rather than the case that it's in now because it just doesn't look very good. So what I'm gonna do now is show you some close-ups of the stuff in this cabinet and then I'm gonna move on to the rest of the shop. So this cabinet is a mix of all kinds of things with some modern Masters of the Universe. That's part of my Star Wars figure set. Then there's some Space 99 bits, robotics. Um, this is like a transforming cap gun robot thing which is quite cool. And then here we've got a prop replica from uh, one of the Independence Day movies. It's called a Moon Tug. Add your own jokes here. I'm just trying to get out of the glass so you've not got any glare. Starting in the middle of the case, there's my Captain Scarlet. Um, there's a Mars tin plate lithograph printed gun. Here's my Blade Runner blaster from a previous video. It's the OG stunt resin version of it, not the metal one, which we did have years ago. Then you can see more of the Star Wars figure collection. I'm just trying not to get the glass in so there's no reflection. Go that way so you can see a lot of them. These double telescoping lightsabers here, they're reproduction because they're just too, too expensive. But I wanted to show a lot of the variants. Oh, I forgot to mention over here, I'm just going to skip back on this side. There are two yak faces there and although the light is shining on one, they are very similar colours. The one at the back there is a complete forgery just to show how good forgeries can be. And then there's the rest of the last 17. Oh, there's also someone had painted up a Bespin Han as a Biggs for me, which I thought was rather cool, so I put that at the back there. So then on this side, you can see a bit of Captain Scarlet. There's a black hole puzzle. We've got a Fantasy Ken there in the corner, and then some modern figures, Alien, Gremlin's Hand Puppet, and then you've got the first 12 Star Wars figures there. I'll just kind of slide that in a bit. I think it's hunting for focus there, so some of these might be a little bit blurry. And then just to the left, we've got a case with some old dinkies and corgis and a few bits, matchbox, that kind of thing. And then we're back into the shop. This is one of our most popular cases in the shop which has a lot of the 118 scale die cast in. These are three very cool models. This one's a CMC. That one is an Exotto, I think is the make. And it is extremely fragile. That's another CMC as well. These are all hand assembled. And then there's some 124 scale on the top there. Right, I'm just gonna skip over these pretty quickly because they're just sort of box standard remote control toy cars. Then we've got some really cool scale electric down here. So on this side, we've got some tanks and soldiers. 
and soldiers and forts but I wanted to show you these figures so we've got these rather cool figures at the bottom and if I go around the other side so we've got some figures from the TV series Gotham signed by the actors which is quite cool that's a set of three that we've got there. I've got a couple of other signed figure sets as well but that's one of my favourites. So that's a look at the centre of the shop then down this side we've got some Hornby stuff here which isn't particularly interesting not that it's not interesting but it's not vintage stuff so I'm just going to kind of skip over that. This next case is rather cool so what I'm going to do is get the keys and open it so there's no reflection from the glass and then you can see <laughs> and then you can see this Batman cowl which is rather cool. So I'm going to start on this side of the case and you may recognise this from a previous Toy Tuesday video, it's that rather epic Bat Cave, the McFarlane one with the uh, Batman and Robin figures. We're selling that as a complete set. Um, there's a couple of the magazine part works up there, sorry I'm getting the light in, a couple of the magazine part work cars up there as well. And then this is a rather fantastic Bane mask, which is from the Noble collection. And then we've got some Superman merch and some books on comics down there. Okay, on this side we've got the Mesco Five Points action figure set and Batmobile, which again was in the same video as that one when we did a comparison of the two. And then I'm going to go rather slowly over this. This is the Batman cowl Dark Knight one, I think from the Noble Collection with its stand. Now this and the Bane mask, I can't tell you how many times a week people ask me if you can actually wear them. The answer is sadly no you can't, it's solid inside. You can stick your fingers through the eyes if you want. I think they even do a piece to fill in this now so you could have Mr. Crazy Mr. Bale's face in there. I'll just move that out of the way. That's a grapnel gun. Sorry, there's a bit of reflection on there. It's got a Perspex front, that. If ever you buy one of those from the Noble Collection, be careful with it. It scratches really easily, which is painful. Then we've got Batman merch. And now I'm going to move on to the motorbike case. Oh, we've got some more action figures up there as well. Okay. I judged that well, didn't I? Okay, so this is another great case. I know I'm saying that. It's my shop. Um, but I think there's some cool stuff in here. We've got some Arrow figures. There's a Wicked Spawn figure in the corner. There's a couple more up there which I'll show you in a few minutes. And then we've some motorbikes and a bit of horror stuff. A couple of Buffy comic books. That is a Power Rangers helicopter from America. I, I don't know how I came across that, but I did. Got a Ghostbusters figure, Spawn figure, and then those are the Arrow figures. That is an incredibly rare Franklin Mint model, but it is phenomenal, the detail on it. Strange little model at the back, an MV Augusta, another Franklin Mint. That's that rather epic spawn figure. Detail on that is amazing, it's a big chunk of plastic as well. And you can see the rest of these Arrow figures with the signatures on them. There's Arnie at the top. Oh, there's quite a, an unusual Predator figure from the 90s. They sell for quite a bit. And then there's a Tron set, which I'm afraid the glass is putting a lot of reflection on. Can't really get to that, but that's very cool. So then we're on to the motorbikes. These mini champs are incredible models. Do quite like that as well. The old original Harley Davidson with the shack behind it. This is a fun little case here, it's one of my favourites. It's full of old action figures, various different ones. In fact, there's quite a mix from Spawn to other action figures. I'll show you anyway. We'll just take a closer look, it's easier. So we've got an alien queen up there, I think it is, some Spawn figures, a Beetlejuice, some Power Rangers, Captain Hook, a bit of Batman bit of Highlander, some biker mice from Mars, they've been reissued, a rubbish Barbie, oh some black hole figures at the back which are very cool, 
Magneto, an Iceman, some Doctor Who bits, uh, Jurassic Park there, Beetlejuice, Womack Masters, some Boglins that absolutely stink. And some pocket monsters and Lanard corpse figures. Oh, some Captain Scarlet at the back. And then with lots of little die cast. Like I say, it's one of my favorite cases, that. Lots of cool stuff in there. Right, I'm gonna move on over here. So we've got some post office stuff there. We've got a spooky door that opens on its own. So this is another case of vintage toys, Corgi, helicopters, aircraft, matchbox, Concords. Some Royal Jubilee stuff. That's quite cool with the old BMW i setters on. And a little bit of post office stuff at the bottom there. And then this is another one of my favorite cases. I'm just gonna crack it open and then you can see some of the cool stuff that we've got in there. This is another one of my favorite cases. Hopefully when I edit this, I'm not gonna be hearing me saying that all of these are my favorite cases. This one is particularly cool because it's got Star Wars stuff in it. A bit like the one as you come in through the shop. This is more modern stuff, but there's still some very cool bits in here. So starting in the corner, we've got my Biker Scout helmet from other videos. There's a couple of figures there. This Boba Fett figure is very cool. A few Power of the Force bits behind. Oh, I forgot, there's my canine head up there. And there are some picture frames around here. I think they're doing some work next door, so that's why you might hear a bit of background noise. The other side of this case, Got a few bits. That's the coat of Bakia Kylo Ren. You can't really make it out. Got an Anakin there, Darth Vader there, some Power of the Force figures there. There's a Jar and C3PO. And on this side, we've got some die cast black series at the top there. An old sideshow Luke Skywalker. There's a few bits of Rogue One stuff behind there. There's the other side of that Kylo Ren. Then we've got an IG 11, the Jawa, and C3PO. Top trumps. I really like these little figures, they're very cool. They're all die cast. Got some cinema stuff there. And some little figures at the bottom. Got a wedge in bigs there, there's some stamps. These are slate schematic table mats, it's a set of four. Oh, some black series at the back. A few bits of cinema stuff. And then these little figures down here that if you push the heads in changes the moods. Hopefully I'm giving you a decent idea of the scale of the shop. It is quite small and compact, but we've crammed quite a lot into it. Now down this side, here we have, if I just move the camera around, here we've got some repaints of dinkies with reproduction boxes and just a few odd bits that really aren't that interesting unless you're into repainted dinky toys. So what I'm gonna do now is move down this side and kind of scan over these cases quickly, which takes us back to the door and the end of the model shop tour. But these are originally the Corgi cases that we put in in 1998, this fancy Corgi carpet at the floor that I'm not showing too much of because I've not hoovered and the camera will pick it up. And then if my mum watches this, she'll shout at me. So I'm not gonna show that too much, but what I'm gonna do is scan over these cases here and show you what we have. Now, although these are Corgi display cases, we have a mix of all sorts of things in there. Starting on this side, we've got a little bit of Eddie Stobart, some Showman's and a little bit of Hauliers of Renowned and a bit of GPO stuff. Oh, and an Austin Allegro sign that I picked up recently in the lakes. On this side, we've got buses. Some Blackpool buses there. More bits of die cast. Some modern dinkies there. Oh, and a few more train bits. We've got soldiers in this one. Bits of Britons. Hot Wheels. That's a set of Darling Buds of May cars there in the original series. This side we've got books, Batmobiles, Avengers gift set, Man from Uncle, UFO Interceptor, Buck Rogers, bit of Marks, very cool, Ford Escort there, and some Back to the Future stuff. 
Now we're into James Bond. Magazine part work cars at the back. And then we've got Only Fools and Horses, and that is the millionaire's edition of the Only Fools and Horses car, which is very expensive. I should do a video on that really, shouldn't I? Maybe that's yeah, maybe that's one I'll do a video on in the future. And then this case we've sold a lot of stuff out of the weekend, which is why it's looking empty. Then we've got lots of yesteryears, more buses. And then we are at the toys. Because a lot of the stuff in here is toys for kids my age. So we like to have some toys for the kids that are a little bit younger than me. And they're just in there. Oh, I nearly forgot. In the walk through between the shops, it's in darkness that bit at the minute. We've got some Doctor Who, more signed figures there, Torchwood. And we've got some more Doctor Who stuff in here. Right, I'll take you back through. So this is obviously the view from the main shop back through into the model shop. And this is the side we've just walked down, middle case. That's a nutcracker that's normally outside. And now we're back at the doorway where I started. So hopefully that gives you an idea of the layout of the model shop at Brooks Collectibles and obviously an idea of what else we do. Like I say, we have a lot of new subscribers to the channel, a lot of new people viewing it. Thank you very much, it's greatly appreciated. I really enjoy reading your comments. I don't get to answer all of them, but thank you for taking the time to comment. If you've enjoyed this video, please comment as well. Also hit the like, hit the subscribe if you're new to the channel. And if you're in Blackpool, come and say hello because we'd love to meet you. I will say we have had a delivery in the week. There's some boxes through there. And I am hoping that one of my favorite YouTubers is gonna pop in this week on Thursday and we're gonna open some boxes with him. Right, stay safe, take care, and I'll see you soon for another Toy Tuesday that hopefully is a little bit better planned and organized. I think a flying saucer just went past. Goodbye for now. Boys are fool.